Welcome to another Vlogmas vlog. This is like my official Vlogmas vlog introduction. It is Friday, so happy Friday. I do want to like deep clean the house tomorrow Saturday. I ordered some things off of Amazon, like tile grout cleaner. And I just want to do like a deep clean of the house. So maybe I'll do that in tomorrow's vlog. Today I have to run some errands. Some packages I need to return. I need to ship something to my sister. But before I headed out, I wanted to do like my everyday makeup routine. And I have some new products from Merit Beauty here. I'm so excited to try them. They are a minimalist beauty brand. Love their packaging. It is so gorgeous. And they're huge on like sustainability. The packaging is recyclable. They did send these over. So this portion is in collaboration with them. But I am so excited to try their products because they are a minimalist beauty brand like I said so basically their logo is less is more which is right up my alley because I do love like a full face of makeup but I really love to keep it simple I just love to keep things simple while emphasizing you know your natural beauty and I feel like Merit is exactly that and right now for the month of December you can shop them on Sephora they are available on Sephora but for the month of December if you shop on meritbeauty.com you get this really gorgeous black bag right here it has these two flaps here and you just kind of like tie them in a knot this would actually be really cute with a New Year's Eve outfit or a Christmas outfit just because of, I mean, how look how cute is this? It has like this little knot tie, this black velvet, so cute. And this is completely free with any purchase that you make on MeritBeauty.com. So I will leave my link to shop down below if you guys are interested. But I'm so excited to try their products in today's video and incorporate them into my everyday makeup look. So I was able to choose um, the colors and everything that I wanted. So honestly, let's just get right into it. Let me just show you everything that I picked up. So I have two of their complexion sticks and I got them in two different colors. They're called the Perfect perfecting complexion sticks. I got one in sand for like an all over color and then I got the amber one to use as a bronzing shade. You guys, how beautiful is this? Like this is beautiful. Like can we just appreciate how beautiful this is? These are their complexion sticks. This is the color amber, then we use the bronzing shade as I mentioned and then the color sand and they're just absolutely gorgeous products Then there's also their blending brush here very very soft and I love how like compacted and dense the fibers are it has a tiny bit of a slant to it but it, I'm just to see how this is gonna work I feel like this is gonna be very good for blending the complexion sticks all right and this I actually did try it is the hydrating balm or the highlighting balm sorry the day glow highlighting balm and I tried it just right here it is it's like a it's very interesting because it's very feels very hydrating, but it offers such a like subtle, beautiful glow. This is the smallest amount, like a few swipes, and it offers like this natural, gorgeous, hydrating glow. So I'm so excited to see how this is gonna look on the face. And then I got their tinted lip oil. How cute. And then I got mine in the color taupe. I veer more towards like mauvier brownie shades. And then last but not least is their brown 1920 volumizing pomade. It's like a brow gel of sorts. And it has a little bit of tint to it. Again, stunning packaging. And I got this in the color brown. I will leave all the products that I used down below, as well as um, their names in parentheses for anybody that's interested in case you didn't catch it in this video. But honestly, let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with a concealer, which is what I usually do. And I'm actually gonna use this one from Anika Organic because it really helps to brighten up my under eyes. And I use this almost every single day, just to like really, and I, I'll use it just in the inner corner with like a small, this is like the e.l.f. beauty sponge, just to kind of help really brighten up the under eye. And I feel like a little bit of this goes a long way. And my face is a little bit splotchy right now because I did apply a few drops of self-tanner to my moisturizer last night. And I'm honestly, I'm not loving how it came out. I feel like it brought, it caused a bit of unevenness in my skin tone. So now I'm going to go in with their foundation stick in the color Sand. And it does twirl on the bottom so you can increase it. But I'm just going to go ahead. I've never used 
Ooh. It's very, very creamy. Let me actually zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. I would say this is a perfect color match if you have a neutral type color skin tone where it's not too warm and it's not too cool. And you have like a decent tan. I would say it's like a light medium almost. So I'm very happy with the shade color. I would say that their website makes it super easy to try to choose a foundation shade that is very close to your skin. Like their photos and her description and everything. It blends into like a very almost like invisible finish. It's very interesting because it's not like caked on. It's almost as if I applied nothing. It almost reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. But it's a little bit more matte, I will say. So I'm loving the first impression so far. So this is a close-up, and I have dry skin, mind you. It's definitely doing better since I'm trying to take care of my skin with at-home microdermabrasion and things like that and different skincare products. But it's almost as if I have nothing on my skin. It's kind of crazy. It's very... It just melted into the skin. I don't even know how to explain it. But now for the foundation, I'm going to use the color Amber. I went through and I felt like this was the best not too warm toned, not too uh, muddy toned bronzer, but I guess we'll see for my skin tone. And you can use this as a foundation shade if you have darker skin as well. Wow, it is so creamy, like ridiculously creamy. I just want a little bit, not too much, honestly. Just a smidge, kind of like around the nose. It blends beautifully in my opinion. Like it's not splotchy at all because I have used creamy products in the past, especially for bronzers. I love a creamy bronzing product. Look at that. This is gorgeous. I am so impressed with these products. I love everything about them. Like my first impression bar is right up here with these products. No joke. Now for the highlighting stick, I'm just going to apply some... This is such a gorgeous glow. Do a little bit down the bridge of my nose in like a exclamation mark of sorts. Maybe a little bit here. Look at this beautiful highlighting shade. OMG! I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using the same brush for all of them, but I am. And it's working very well for me. Now for the brows. I'm going to go ahead and brush them up first. It's what I always usually do. And I usually use the NYX lift and snatch brow pen because I have a lot of brow hairs that are kind of missing but I'm just going to go ahead with the eyeshadow powder from the Tartlet and Bloom and I'm going to use probably like Jet Setter with a little bit of smoke show I'm just going to like fill in some areas that you know that I feel like need to be filled in I love how this brow came out and then this one's like giving me a hard time because it's like super splotchy at the tail it's like, why can't you just be friends? I don't understand. I am very particular about my brows, so I'm not sure that I would use this product in particular, just because I love my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, but if you love brow pomades, then you probably will love this. Just sharing my honest opinions. When I'm doing a very natural makeup look and I'm not wearing lashes, I love to use an eyeshadow wing. So I'll use the same, um, this is like from Benefit, and I use the color Smoke Show from the Tartlet and Bloom Palette. And because I have a little bit of like a down, not downturned eye, but I have, my lids are a little bit hooded here on the ends, so I have to be very particular about my, where I place my wing. So what I usually do is actually place it lower and kind of blend it into my lower lash line. That way my outer lid right here is not covering the wing that I created. Just make sure that you're looking straight when you're doing this. And I just create a wing like so. And it almost is even with the bottom lash line. And then I'll do the same thing to the other eye. Try to make it as even as possible. And then literally what I'll do is just kind of connect it to the outer eye. And I don't really bring it in past the outer corner of my eye. And I love using eyeshadow for this because I feel like eyeshadow is very soft. Same with the brows. It just creates like a very soft wing and I'm going to finish off with the lips. I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in the color Sandstorm. I'm just going to go ahead and outline them first. My battery died literally as I was applying the liner. I'm going to top this off with the Shade Stick Tinted Lip Oil and this is the color 
I think taupe I said yes this is the color taupe I feel like sandstorm with this taupe lip oil is like the perfect brown combo but this is the finished look I am so impressed with their products like i would know right away if i don't like something if it's too splotchy if it doesn't sit nice on my skin it's basically an entire face of makeup in just a few products like this is an entire face of makeup minus the concealer unless you you can buy a concealing shade in the foundation stick but i love that you don't need to have many products to do an entire full face of makeup and these are going to look gorgeous on your vanity if you're like you could keep these out that's how beautiful they are and you can travel with them you don't need a bunch of stuff you just take this this is your entire face of makeup so i'm going to continue the vlog i'm going to run my errands and then i'll check in at the end of the day and see how this held up but i am like super 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 duper impressed i gotta get like something for my car because i feel like a lot of times i'm vlogging in the car and i don't have a good setup here but i have one more stop to make Gotta stop by the UPS store. We got peppers and dry food. Like a big bag this time. So I stopped by PetSmart. There are so many people out today. It's Friday, but around the holidays, I feel like it gets so crazy and so busy. And then I stopped by you, uh, the what's it called? It's so bright. I stopped by the USPS store, the post office, and mailed out some extensions for my sisters. I'm not going to be using them anymore now that I'm going lighter. Those are too dark. So she has the hair the color that I had before I lightened it. Maybe even darker. And the extensions are going to match her perfectly. So I mailed those out to her. And then just got to stop by the UPS store. And that is it for the errands. And going to head home. Just thought I would do one last check in before I finish this video. Because I do want to edit the footage and get it up by tonight. But the makeup held up very well. I do feel like maybe... If you have oily skin, you're probably going to want to set it because it might move after, I would say, several hours of wearing it um, and setting it. I feel like it just kind of like locks in place. So even though I love how it feels, it's not sticky at all for being cream products, you're definitely better off setting it in my opinion. So, but otherwise, or just makeup products, link, I will link them all down below, shop them down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, this vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.